I'm going to use my, my knee shield there. I'll cross my toes like this. Right. As a beginner, you'll often forget that. So the person will come behind you. So I'm going to use my arms to protect myself from this arm. Because this arm here wants to grab your head or punch you or grab your collar and stuff. So you don't want that happening. So this is the side here. So you focus on your elbow, not your wrist. Focus on using your elbow. And you can even use your legs to pull them forwards here like this. Grab your waist. It's really common that people grab your head, which is no problem at all. You can grab their wrist. Half the time you don't even have to grab their wrist, but it pays to here. Yeah. Push my hips into their leg. So at the moment, his weight's on this side, so I can't lift him over him. I probably could, he's little, but assume he's massive. Right, so my job isn't to lift him over me. My job is to put myself on the centre line. See how it makes him want to back step? Yeah, so he'll put his foot down for balance, like this. So now your feet have to do this. Yeah, right? Because I need to use, if I keep this leg up, it's very hard for me to put weight on him. So I keep this leg up, here, then, my foot passes it to my hand, foot down, grab the other leg. Sometimes you might have to knock that leg out and then you can get on top. So that transition is quite important because the person who's on top can play their half guard game on both sides. Yeah, so, so I can be here like this playing half guard like this. My leg's still inside there and fight on this side too. Yeah. So you, you're not safe just because they go to one side. Yeah. It's just a different half guard for them. That's all. all right. So you, you've been here like this, you stepped over your leg, you forgot to put your knee in there. And it's this arm that I'm worried about here. I do not want this hand getting a strong grip on my collar because then he can pull himself into me and oh, flatten me out. So I want to make sure that I get control of this arm. My top hand. Top elbow goes into the armpit, and I use my knees to bring them forwards. Now this, because half the time you can pop out the back. Yeah, All right. Assume they get your head, that's fine. Yeah, you can hold the wrist or hold the gi. As you get better, you won't even have to, because you'll push your head onto their arm, to track their arm. Right, let's take your arm out. So, so it'll get stuck. You can do this. And he gets over, you swap your feet. To there. Right? So I want to keep this up. Because if this goes down, now it can roll back over. Yeah? So I keep this up in the air. He rolls back over. Hard. Yeah? So then I'm going to use my left foot, pass it to my hand, catch here, and get on top. Cool. Let's start with that. I'll do that.